Hey, welcome back to Jenny Sherbo Performance Horses. This is um, the number two horse on part two of halter breaking. Uh, this is Rocky. He's a yearling quarter horse um, that came in a week ago that was wild. And we ran him um, from where we bought him at the ranch into pens and into a horse trailer. Then we got him roped in the trailer, hung halters on him let the rope drag for a couple days and then brought in a lead horse and pulled him around and taught him how to lead and got to where we could touch him and pet him and rub all over him. And then we got on the ground and, and taught him how to lead on the ground and to give to pressure. And as you can see, they're not so scared anymore. This colt um, was one of the youngest ones of the band of colts that we bought him from. So he was low man on the totem pole, but that did not make him submissive and scared. It made him tough. So um, he is not steady at all, but he likes to fight. If, if you want to argue with him at all, he wants to win. <laughs> so um, that's why we named him Rocky. It's after the movie Rocky from Rocky, Rocky Balboa, the famous fighter, um, because he does like to fight a little bit. He's a really nice colt, and um, he has beautiful movement. He's, um, when he does submit, he, he gives it all the way up, so he's gonna be just fine. It's just, I think by being the youngest horse in the band of horses that he was in, um, just made his personality be a little bit tougher. So I'm glad that we got him removed when we did, and I think now that that, that pecking order is just gonna change a lot for him, and we're gonna build his confidence and try to teach him that he doesn't have to fight about everything, they just needs to find the release and find that relaxation, find the easy way. Um, his life's going to get a lot easier. He's going to be a little bit more fun to be around and things will get better. So again, we've taught these horses to give to pressure, to lead. As soon as they come forward, release them. They understand that there's a line drawn in the sand and they have their space and we have our space. And if they're going to come into our space, we're going to We're gonna knock him back out of it. So he's just not paying any attention. There. And it may only be one step. He may need to face up. There, I found the release. That's good. He right here, he's just kind of taking the, there. He moved his feet. <laughs> Thanks. He moved his feet very little. So he's just not paying much attention that if I came to him with a bunch of energy, there. It should translate to his feet. Then I come at him with a bunch of energy. There, it should translate to his feet. Now, there's the line in the sand. You stay in your area and I'll stay in mine. And that's where if he were to spook over here or the horses run wild over there, whatever, just stay in your space. The line is drawn in the sand. You don't need to come into my space. I can pull you into my space and then I can run you right back out of it. whichever I want to do. Then when I go to turn him, remember that it is not about pulling from here. It's about pushing the hip. We just want the release of the hip, not the pulling of the head. And it'd be nice if he would release right there. So we're going to do it again. Push the hip, push the hip, push the hip. Now I'd like a release. Good. I like how we got the drop of the head. There's the release. So again, I'm almost having to train that release in. If I wasn't waiting for it and promoting it and looking for it, it might not happen. And then he would just get stiffer and be a little bit more on the muscle and be a little bit more defensive. If I want softness when I ride him, then I'm going to have to look for the softness now when I'm on him. Because when I go to get on him, I'm not going to do a whole lot different. I'm going to go and make sure that this hip moves. See, I don't want to pull on his head. I don't want him walking around in the front. If you really go back and watch the Buckskins video, the Buckskins front feet are sit there. Right there at the end, his feet, front feet sat still and his hind end walked around. Still looking for that release. So he looked off over there, so I'm gonna go ahead and get him back to work again. 
like this hip there, much better. There. That was better. And if he won't find that release, then he needs a little bit more pressure put on him. And that's okay, we can do that. So when we come here, I don't want to pull on his head. I just want to chase his hip. And then I'm going to wait there for the front feet to sit still and the hind end to go around. He's kind of too busy being focused out there that he's not focused on me enough to find that release. So I'm going to walk him off over here. There. He licked his lips a little bit. That's good. Now, I'd like his front end to sit still. There. So I had to lift. I'm not pulling to me. I was lifting up. What I was trying to do was to stop his front feet. Hey, kid. Every once in a while, I'll just reach up there and pet him. I like to get my hand up as high as I can into the center of his ears because I'm eventually going to need to bridle him. And my hand's going to have to be up here in between his ears. And I might just leave it there. When he starts to drop his head, there. Good. He <laughs> like how his one ear was cocked. There. Good boy. There, where he's starting to drop it and I can feel him release. Oh. Notice I stepped back out of his space a little bit looking for that release. I would have liked him to drop his head and lick a little bit more there. And the more broke that he gets, the more he will do that. His eyes are a little blinky and, and he's not too bad on the muscle considering last week he was wild. And this is the tough colt. Let's not forget, this isn't Mr. Feely, sweet, gentle guy. This colt cleared two fences when we gathered him to bring him in to go in the trailer. He jumped over two fences to not go into the trailer. And he wants to argue and fight about everything. There, that was a lot better that time. There. Very good. I like how he submitted that time. Dropped his nose. That was good. Okay, I'd still like a little bit of reaction when I go to this hip. Much better. I want that front end to sit still. There. I'm not going to go back out there to the kick zone, though. There. Good. There. Right there at the end, I got a big release. Again, everything's a little tougher with this colt. The other one just kind of remembered and had given it up. This colt, not surprisingly, wants to argue about it all a little bit. Okay, now we're going to go to this side. Much better on this side. Very nice. That's how it's supposed to be done. Nice and soft in that hip, stepped right around, no problems. This colt's not as comfortable on this side, which is kind of funny because that's the exact opposite of the other colt. Good. It's better. Better. Good. Better. Much better. You go back up here, put my hand between his ears again. There, big old sigh right there. Did you do that into the microphone where they could hear you? Huh? Did you? Yeah? So I don't, I don't mind touching their ears while I'm up here. I'm eventually going to have to get a bridle on this colt. So I just kind of mess around with them. I don't want the first time I put my hand on the top of their head or touch their ears to be when I'm trying to bridle them. That's not fair at all. You gotta make sure that I can do it all now. So I just kind of do that a lot in passing just to make sure that when you, you go to put the halter on, you're eventually gonna put the bridle on, that you can ask them to drop their head and that they're okay with you having your hand up there and touching their ears. You'll thank me later if you do a little bit of that at home. So now, I don't know if you can tell, but this colt has a lot of warts on his face, so he's He's pretty sensitive to me touching his, his mouth. But again, when I go to bridle him, 
<laughs> now he was better than the other colt. This was a big fight yesterday to be able to touch his face. Today, he doesn't seem to care at all. Oh, you're okay. There. That was pretty dang good because yesterday um, he was not having this. So that means that we did a really good job yesterday. That's our report card to know that we could touch his face today and we couldn't yesterday. Make sure you step off to the side when you go to do this. And I'm just going to pretend like, oh, I need to look at your teeth. And I'll run my hand in the corner of his mouth. He could care less. Both sides. Smile for the camera. <laughs> okay, that's huge. Yesterday, this colt wanted to paw you in the head over that. He says, hey, what are you doing? Come back. Very good.